Well, we're back in the theater because I have an update. Um, I mentioned it a couple videos ago that I was working on a data project to kind of clean up my download directory that's been accumulating for several years and get everything renamed, sorted, and backed up properly again. It's kind of a cycle. I'll like do it and then I'll get lazy and download a bunch of stuff and then I'll do it again. But anyway, so I didn't really mention it in the last video. But that project is now basically done. Um, everything that I had downloaded is organized and backed up. I'm um, kind of on a phase two of that. I found a list online that was as of the date of the list. All of the 4K Blu-ray UHD releases that have happened. I think it was up through like January of this year or something. Um, I'm not sure I'm tired anyway. So now I'm going through that list. I just started at the end. I'm actually, you know, A through M is already done. But I went through and made sure I had pretty much everything. Um, what I didn't have, I acquired. And then um, there were some things that either aren't available or I just don't care about in 4K and have very low availability. So I made sure I at least had the 1080 of them. So that project's almost done. And then I guess phase three of that is I still have lots and lots and lots of things that are still like DVD quality or lower. You know, not even 720, we're talking like 640 and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna go through and make sure that at least the movies that I actually like and care about because you know, I've collected things for other people and you know things that seemed cool or whatever at the time not necessarily invested in every file that's on my server but I definitely want to go through and you know upgrade you know my more favorite things so that'll do the next step um, that'll go a lot easier I mean there's far more files but Availability is usually a lot better, even on the older stuff. Um, file sizes are obviously a lot smaller, so it takes, you know, minutes versus sometimes hours. And that's not a limitation of my bandwidth, that's just sometimes these things are only seated two or three or four people, so it takes a while. Um, so, I'm also down here because I started a new project. Uh, I kind of alluded to this before too. I figured this was a, a new opportunity to, or a good opportunity to continue the uh, theater playlist. So I started on the ceiling tiles. So I got the white uh, clutter pattern. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be three by four. So three this way and then four that way. That gets me pretty much like up to and including the vent and it gets me to like right here so it's basically the the lobby area um, I am gonna have to probably move the lounge sign well not probably I'm definitely going to have to um, I think my plan is to just move it down still mount it to the beam and just cut you know around it so like we'll touch it but at least right now the L and the lounge letters are too high um, I may not put it back up at all. To be determined. Right now, I'm just using the red tape. But the surface area to attach it is very small and very limited. Um, because, I mean, this is really thin. It's, you know, this is not solid. It's, it's this shape. Um, I'm using the red tape, cutting it in half. So peeling it is kind of a pain and irritating but I don't necessarily really trust it to hold especially like I mean it's not lining up super good so this is only gonna have like this um, and I obviously don't want to use the black screws because that's gonna stand out like nobody's business so I went on Amazon and ordered some white headed screws 
to uh, help secure them up there. I'm gonna try to make it as neat as possible, but I think I might be a little sloppy just because again, I'm gonna be a little loosey goosey up there. And then once those are up, uh, we'll go ahead and start putting up the lights. So we got these lights I talked about at Christmas. It's like a red and white globe kind of deal. Uh, I thought it would be cute down here. You know, like an old style movie marquee, like under, under a lobby kind of thing. Um, I could in theory swap out the bulbs and go all red or all white or something, but I think the white and white will look cute. So that's that update. Um, suppose after that, I'll probably try to do Odyssey and stuff as an update on the channel. I've been talking about redoing that uh, for a while now. Still don't think it's going to be super recent because it is kind of time consuming and this work schedule is still kicking my butt. Uh, next week should be my last week on third shift, hopefully. I should then be able to go back to seconds because we should have our people trained up. My wife will, is starting seconds as of next week as well. So I think I'm on thirds one week longer than she's on first. So we're almost on the same schedule. So that'd be nice. Tired of this whole split schedule and sleep schedule thing. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'm not going to post this for a bit because, you know, I'm going to be doing the ceiling. Hey, the sun's joining me. Hi, hey, Simba. So I'm going to continue to work on the ceiling tiles. And then once that project is done, then I'll, I'll put the video up. I just wanted to get that recorded and mention you know, the update to the data project that I kind of neglected to cover with the uh, laser video. Anyway, catch you later. Well, I'll call that one. I mean, there's just not enough surface area really to, to mount it without really getting like super tiny pieces of tape everywhere. Um, so that's why I kind of held off till I got the screws, which I did get. They did come in, so I can kind of work on that. I also had the thought, uh, and this is kind of why I've been doing it. I've been hoarding these things. So I still have a bunch of, you know, the build together L brackets from the furniture. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is screw them up here. I figured I can either kind of do this and just kind of widen the lip, especially if I do it on both sides. Or I could potentially do the short ones and then cut these down and kind of put them up up here kind of more as a horizontal brace um not really sure kind of see what works i guess and what i need once i start seeing how the uh edges fall but definitely gonna need screws kind of figured as much well as per usual i definitely need to pre-drill the hole because these screws won't self-tap through the plastic. At least not easily. And it makes them a little easier to get started into the wood. Um, I was also using the wrong size drill or head bit. So I wasn't really getting in there, but I switched to a different size. It seems to be going okay now. Although my drill is, or my uh, screwdriver is low, I need to get him charged. But I mean, so they're not invisible. But a couple of screws per panel, I think will be all right. Um, this side seems to be holding with the tape, but I should probably throw one or two in there. Probably just one right here in the dark, um, just to kind of make sure it doesn't fall down. But I think it's going to look cool when it's done. So I guess like in the other room, the plan of attack is to put at least a couple of pieces of tape on it. Just to hold it up there long enough for me to actually get some screws into it. And then it doesn't really matter if it holds. Um, also a small update. 
the two hour laser show uh, either something changed with YouTube or the songs I used were particularly egregious or maybe it's the number of violations and the length of the video but there's like I don't know if I covered this or not I don't think I did maybe I did in a previous clip I honestly don't remember it's been a few days but um, anyway there's a number of songs that um, are blocking the video in all territories not just like Russia or Canada like usual um, and it's not letting me mute or trim those sections I think I did cover this a little bit even if I wanted to it says it's unsupported so what I'm probably going to end up having to do is um, <clears throat> re-edit the video and keep the songs that it allowed and then uh, some of the important ones that I wanted actually are okay and then just re-upload the new version and the other one will just have to stay private until something changes or, or whatever so that's going to take some time um, so you'll probably see this before that but that's where that other video went Anyway, let me get this up. I don't want to do a whole lot down here today because I am working tonight. And then I have two days off coming up here in the middle of the week with the wife at work. So I can get some stuff done then. Today I just want to relax a little bit and unwind from Easter before I got to go in later. But I'm always going to get this one mounted. Main reason I came back downstairs is because Simba came down and was being a little shadow. He wants lots of attention today, so... He was just kind of staring down here looking up at me like, Dad, come back. So after I got some food, I figured I'd at least get this one up. Because I cut it, you know, a little bit ago. Actually, the other day. So I just want to get it going. And then we'll go from there. Well, at least on this one, the tape didn't do anything at all. Didn't keep it up there enough for me to easily get it drilled and screwed. Um, but I got it enough once I actually just held it there. Um, the other reason I don't want to do a whole lot of this right now is I'm actually charging the screwdriver And I don't want to have to do this all by hand So I'll put the three screws in this one. So I got one here It's gonna go one over there and then one kind of in the middle on the back end And then I'll throw some tape probably under the pipe Because that's what I did over on that one To kind of keep this corner up and this will also serve as a lip to keep the next one from sagging I think at least that's the plan and then I'll go from there. Using the L brackets here isn't really going to help because this is pretty far over. And it's not going to reach on this side. And there's plenty of wood over here. So I'm not going to worry about it on this guy, but it might make more sense for these over here. We'll see. Well, between losing, using less tape and uh, this screw isn't as centered as I had planned. This side's a little saggy, so I'm probably going to throw a screw in here, and or some tape. Probably start with some tape, see how it goes. But yeah, so I mean, it's not looking too bad. You know, I didn't do a great cutout for the light, but you know, it's white on light, so it works out alright. Um, I couldn't do a whole lot better with just some scissors and some tin snips. But you know. It's better than looking at that. And that short inspection, I think it looks okay. I think it's gonna look pretty cute when I get this finished. So I'm probably gonna do three, and then as far back as four gets me. Which I think is almost to where the DVDs are. To be continued. Well, it definitely doesn't go quite long enough. For a strip to make sense over here, but I probably will put one on the back wall at least, facing this way, um, to catch the lip at least. And then I'll probably do the horizontal braces. Sorry about that. Um, to catch the in between edges. So I do one like here, this way, uh, just to give it some support. Well, I got a ton of these things, might as well use them for something. But that'll be a future project. I taped that corner, that seems fine. I'll leave it at that for now. 
Well, making progress, making progress. So this one, I didn't bother using any tape on. This edge is supported by this panel. Um, I got a little piece of thing here. There's a support this corner because it was kind of saggy because there's like nothing here. Um, I thought about like screwing a piece in, but then I was thinking, well then you'll see the cardboard down here with the wood. So I figured I just actually did that. And I couldn't really, there's not enough space. As I was saying, there's not enough space to get a screw in. So I just used the piece of the red tape to tape that to the beam. And then I screwed up into it. It's not fighting gravity. It's not really weight bearing or load bearing. So I figured that should hold it decently enough. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll figure out something else later, but for right now it's fine. And then the next piece doesn't quite make it. It goes to the lip, but not doesn't really touch it. So I did have to extend this one, so I just put a piece here, screwed in, and that gives me a lip to get the next piece of uh, board to. And it should give me enough of an overlap, so I'll have a screw here and a screw here in the wood. Um, as you can see, I took the lounge sign down, thinking about it, there wasn't really any way to cut around it in a way that was going to look good, because, I mean, it's jagged, so then you'll see, you know, into it and stuff, probably. Um, so I just moved it over to here. I think it looks pretty good there, flanked by the dragons. Um, the cord is actually in the L even more hidden, because it goes back and then over. So that shouldn't really be an issue. I also have it access to the switch that it's on now because it's got an inline switch that I couldn't really get to before. So I think that'll be fine there. Um, the other option is this is right at the seam. So I could like drop some metal lines down and then like bolt it into place or something. But I don't have any of that stuff to do that with. So maybe down the road or something but for right now he's just gonna live there which i kind of like actually honestly with the movies on, around it i think with the, the ceiling in place it'll actually look fine um so let me get a couple more pieces up i'm not sure what i'm gonna do here yet because this corner is going to be supported um if i put this board underneath where it overlaps a little that might keep it up enough so I don't got to worry about it. I'll have to see. Uh, if not, I'm going to have to get a support in there somehow. There. See how close that is? It almost touches it, but not quite. So I got to extend it. You know, again, if I own the place and I was doing this more permanently, I would get plywood and plywood the whole thing and then attach these but not really the plan or the goal. Um, I'm just hoping that it's secure enough that all the base isn't gonna make it flap like a fish and introduce a whole bunch of echo that I don't really want or uh, rattling. Time will tell, I guess. The screws blend in about as well as I hoped and expected. I mean, I'm trying to put them in shadow as much as possible. And I mean, come on, my sights aren't going to be on most of the time anyway. So in that full brightness. So, you know, I think we'll be all right. It's only better than looking at the uh, beams. And it is also going to introduce some sound scattering. Which, you know, kind of secondary point. Uh, I think I still have a bunch of foam. I could throw some foam up there too, just to kind of add to the uh, sound isolation. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Got it, might as well use it. Well, this corner's not staying up as much as I would like, but I think if I put a screw right between the two, I can at least get the head to catch it to keep both of those corners supported rather than drilling a hole and having it a little more obvious. Let me try that. Um, apparently, 
the board or these things go right up to the vent they don't necessarily go past it but they do touch the vent and i think i can live with that gives it kind of a little industrial look um it's not going to be a whole one to the wall and like i said i don't really want to cut these plus i'd rather go the three across than use them just to do that little section because this looks all right but i think three will be better um there's not really any other obstructions that i can really see might have to figure out what the hell this is just hammer it off or something um it might not actually be in the way it might be just past but nothing else is hanging down i did have to move the smoke detector which is right now sitting right up there um i will put that back up i'm either gonna sticky tape it to this uh, i could mount it right here uh, we'll think about it but i mean it should still be working could even put it right here which isn't really that far from where it was but i think that's the best option because it still should go upstairs sound wise should detect the same area I think I'll do that. Alright, that's fixed. I almost had to drill a hole because it kept spinning out of control when it caught the edge, but it's in there now. It supports both of them, it's not sag anymore. I also fixed the smoke detector. Um, I only got the one screw in it, so I didn't really feel like measuring, but it's supported by the molding and metal bracket plus the screw. I mean, it's, it's not really going anywhere probably maybe it is i don't know oh i just gotta screw it there you go it's fine so yep lazy solutions and yes i know i need to change out the poster i'll get there just not really sure i want to change it to yet Well, I got that brace piece up. So I got two shorties here and here. This one was already the right length to just sit on top. So now I could brace this corner, which I'll probably do. And then I have something to screw this one into. I should support it enough. This one looks a little low though. I might need to move this up. We'll see how the piece moves up on it. It's easy enough to move if I need to. Oh, I got another panel up. That one fought me a bit. This screw here... I guess the wood was hard, and then it shifted a little, so this gap was way too big. So then I had to adjust it, but very finely. So this hole's kind of wonky. I also banged into it twice here and here. But, you know, whatever. I think it looks alright. Doop. As with this project, nothing is perfect. It's just got to be good enough for me. Well, I got the last panel up going in that direction. So, like I said, this one's pretty easy because it's pretty much right on the four beams, no issues. It does cover up the gap to get to the vent, and that's about it. Um, but, you know, overall impression? I think it works out all right. I don't really mind the silver over there. Especially considering I'm not really going all the way over anyway. I think it'll be all right. Um, I do still have that acoustic foam that I never expanded. So I could potentially put that there. That's about the right size, I think. Uh, if I was worried about trying to get some more sand dampening from going through that vent anyway. Although, honestly, this side of the vent is more of the issue. Um, that's where the speakers and stuff are. So, I think I'm just going to leave it silver. I do have that foam to decide to do something with. Uh, potentially someday down the road. But for right now, it's still collapsed up. I'm not really sure what I would do with it. That wouldn't look stupid. 
I mean, this stuff won't really stick to this anyway. I know I can't screw into it because it just tears it all up. I'm talking about this this foam back here. Works great for that part of the wall because yeah, you know, I wanted to do something there besides the curtains. Um, and they were good for the back ceiling. Although it still needs to be secured because, I mean, this has been sagging. I've never bothered to do anything to fix that. Never really did come up with a solution to that. But, uh, yeah. Well, also, apparently this has come down again slash still. It's always been a problem. <laughs> uh, never did find a good solution for that either. Alright, so there's the footprint. Three across, four wide. Um, I think it's a decent amount. Enough where it's not, you know, a couple where it looks stupid. But, you know, more than that, I'd have to do like most of the ceiling. Yeah, it goes right from the edge to the vent. I try not to step on the cat. And then it basically covers all of this almost to the edge of the movie wall. Um, couch, it's basically the edge of this cabinet here. Um, I'm trying to decide if it's going to bug me if it's not going to be one here. But, I mean, the only other thing I could do is get another 12 pack. And that's going to lay out weird, probably. There's not really any reason to go further that way with it. This is also about $67 or something like that. Um, I'd have another light to contend with. Which I don't necessarily want to. Depending on how far down I go, there's a water pipe over here. So... I don't even think this is a full three rows. It's like two in a little bit. Unless I go above the vent. Once I got this space, I could do that, and maybe just cut out around that pipe if I need to. It might be low enough where it doesn't matter. But yeah, I don't really think that's necessary. And it still wouldn't let me go any further this way, even if I did another 3x4. Three by, three by so I think we're going to leave well enough alone once I finish this section, of course. Um, I am working second shifts today. They have me kind of bouncing back and forth right now. So I'm probably going to call it a night. I do want to take a shower or two um, before I head to work. So I think that'll be it until I come home. Either tonight, if I can get away with it, the wife will be sleeping, or sometime later. I am working the next four days in a row, too, so I'm not really sure, but... I'm happy with where it's at for now. Well, piece by piece, the project marks on. Marches on. Um, one more row, one more in this row, and then I can do the final three. Wife thinks we might need to do more of the ceiling. Um, she'll determine that when we actually finish what we got. Also, I'm at 5%, so I guess I'm switching batteries. But, one more piece done. So even though we're well, we're, yeah, are well past Easter at this point, um, I did want to go ahead and show off the Easter decorations before I take them down. Um, yes, it is the end of April. And yes, it snowed. <laughs> but whatever, Michigan. Anyway, so I've had these bunnies forever. They used to be my parents. I actually just got them when I moved the rest of the stuff up here from Florida last year. Um put in some RGB Govee light bulbs in them so of course their color changed because why not and then over here in the window uh, which have mostly fallen down at this point but it's just an old set of the uh, app lights that have different modes and stuff pretty advanced for the timing but they're just Bluetooth controlled lights that have a bunch of light shows and stuff built in so that's just like the Easter profile and then the other thing I did is I actually went ahead and got the Govee outside RGB light strips. Um, they've released these a little bit ago. 
Oh, battery drive with like 54%. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can finish this off real quick before it dies again. Um, they released them a while ago, they went on sale. So I went ahead and got a set. And yeah, I mean, they do everything that the inside light strips do. They're just completely waterproof. And they do their thing. So I thought that'd be cool. They're year round. I figured just leave them up there for whatever holidays. Um, and I don't have to worry about decorating every year for the garage with new lights. Alright, that'll be it. I guess I'll get these batteries charged up. And, um, go ahead and start working or continue working on the ceiling. Alright, bunnies are in. Snowmen are in. Be Proud Matt is out. Uh, let's change out the snowmen to the Easter, not Easter, the, um, summer. Uh, Chinese lantern lights in the bedroom. Probably we can summon some spring. I never did swap out the battery. I'm assuming it was just cold or something. Although it is down to 17%. I was going to finish this right this second, but this last one was a real pain in the butt. Um, the whole thing walks and twists as it goes. It's not really like I should have knew better. That was an exercise in fertility. Anyway, yeah, I need a break from that even though there's only one panel left. The last one just uh, didn't want to bite in the corner. Sliced up my wrist kind of good. I mean, it's not bleeding or anything, but it definitely sliced on the edges of the plastic a little bit. I need a break. I need a drink. And I need to go to bed because I've been up since like yesterday because third shift. Yay. Um, so yeah, that'll be finished probably tonight. At least as far as the tiles. Then I got to put up the actual Christmas lights that I want to put up there. Which will be a separate project. But I'm wrapping it up. I just, I need to distance myself from that project for right now to be finished shortly uh, I'm also still working on figuring out how to re-edit the laser show um, I had an idea of just putting up the songs that passed copyright um, but now I'm thinking I might actually just do each song as a separate clip and do a playlist. This way I can very easily remove whatever gets flagged. Because a lot of the copyright claims, or content ID claims, um, are blocking it in all countries from the same record producers that allowed the clips in other videos. Not necessarily the same song, but same rights holder. So I don't know if it's because I no longer have YouTube Premium or if it's because of the length of the video since it's over two hours long. Um, I'm not really sure why it's acting differently, but I figure if I re-upload the whole thing as individual clips, that gives the thing a chance to maybe okay some of the exact same songs. It'll also be a good test point to see if that's actually the case or not. And then, like I said, I can more easily just delete whatever sections in the playlist that are having problems. Instead of having to play, oh, well, maybe this song is okay, maybe this song's okay. So, yeah, I'll get to that eventually. So, as I've alluded to in other videos, the uh, laser show, the big laser show anyway, has definitely hit some snags. Um... So, several songs, including some of the ones I really wanted, are blocked in all territories, which means that it can't be played at all. It's largely UMG and WMG, but like I said, they've allowed songs, different songs in other videos, and it's been fine. You know, most of these are just no impact, but, well, at least half, but a lot of them are like, blocked in all territories. So the original plan was just to go through and delete whichever ones are like that. 
And it's not even letting me do anything. I can't meet her, I can't replace it. Um, that'd be a boring ass video because it's, it's about half of it anyway. It's just not letting me do anything. I'm assuming because of the length. Um, but I think I've decided now instead, like Starboy I really wanted, is I'm going to keep all the songs. I'm going to edit it and upload it so that each song is its own clip. And then this way I can do them in a playlist. And then this way, whatever videos get flagged again, I can just remove from the playlist. Alright, the ceiling is done. Got the last panel up. Wife was all like, that's it? You're not doing the rest of it? Like, I wasn't planning to. It's going to the edge of the lounge. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get another pack. That should pretty much fill this spot. We'll think about it. Uh, this is definitely not holding up. So, what I'm probably going to have to do is take one of these strips, flatten it out, and uh, put it up here, kind of like I did to cover where I ran out of wood for the other tiles just so it's got something to screw to under the pipe at least on this end the middle one seems to be more or less okay but just on the edge um so next I will do the lights I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight because I don't really want to start hammering because he's about to go to bed um also we swapped out the poster so we went from up the Christmas Carol to classical Star Wars um <coughs> definitely not a way to display poses if you actually care about preserving them because it does screw up the edges pretty good but <clears throat> it's good it's not like it's a vintage one or anything uh, so this is what an actual poster looks like not when you're just uh, using a piece of printed paper you get from the internet it's more colorful than this is probably picking up on camera but you know at least the black is black and it's a nice glossy material so it holds up a little better than again just printed paper so yeah that's it for that um so we'll get the lights up next i haven't really described what's been going on with work so i've been doing the last time i mentioned kind of doing second shift and third shift it's because i was staying late to help one of the new guys um, kind of get used to the shifts and whatever was not very good um, so I had to like stay late for truck and I was getting all this overtime and stuff like that and now he's actually left he kind of pulled the I'm not just coming to work anymore and just stopped coming so he actually stranded me there one day where I was there for like another 12 hours because you know nobody was going to come in still one downside about this job is just, if no one's there to relieve you you're kind of stuck there so then, after being on seconds for like a week, maybe two, then I got booted back to thirds. One, because they had no coverage. Um, and two, they actually did hire two new third shifters now. They actually had hired one even before the other guy left to kind of help him out and get some extra coverage. But uh, the first guy left before the second guy even started. So I had to train both of them up. They're both part-time. They're doing all right. They're just about ready to go on their own. As a matter of fact, one of them is there tonight by himself. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, they're Actually, they're both there tonight. They're doing truck. No, that's tonight. Next week, they're doing truck by themselves. So anyway, and then I've been basically doing third shift. This last week, he's had me doing both again. So I would be doing like one second shift and four third shifts a week. This next week, I'm doing two second shifts and three third shifts. And then the schedule coming up, I am more or less doing, well, I'm doing three second shifts and two third shifts. Because the one third shift, or the, the newest, well, no, second newest, 
I, I know, I'm kind of rambling. It's kind of weird. The one that w was hired to help the one guy actually requested for the week off, so he's basically gone again. So I'm doing two trucks. Well, two nights anyway. One of which is a truck. With one of the managers who doesn't really know how to do truck yet because he's also new. And then hopefully the week after that I'll be doing mostly seconds into thirds. They're kind of making a new shift where instead of like second shift is like a 2 to 10 and third shift is like a 10 p.m. to 6. He's thinking about having me do like 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. Because we're also doing like seven now which is basically you can place an order online and we'll shop it and get it ready for you that's starting up this week so they need somebody to kind of help you know do those orders because again you're by yourself on third shift you really can't go shopping for people there's not enough time especially before midnight so i'll be doing kind of a middle overlapping second shift third shift thing which i guess is okay i just don't want my schedule to change where i'm working a different shift every day give me time I'll show up, you know, five days of the week, preferably not all together. So it just, it's been hard going back and forth. Um, Angela, the wife, is now on second shift officially. Uh, that started last week. So now if I can, the more second shifts I get, the more often I'll see her. I just got to start working on getting some weekends off. Um, in other news, we have canceled the anniversary trip we were gonna try to go i think to holland but the vacation and her weekends weren't really lining up so we're going to re go back to the zoo trip so now instead of doing the zoo trip which we had canceled for april we're just going to move that to the anniversary i had said august before which is when we met and started dating i actually meant may may is our actual wedding anniversary um, so we'll be doing that kind of as a half birthday, half anniversary thing. Come up in a couple of weeks, head to Detroit for two days, go to the zoo, relax a little bit. We need some time off. Um, together, we haven't really been seeing each other much. Um, also, in a sort of strange turn of events, because I have kind of paused the ceiling project for a few days, because I was tired and didn't really want to deal with it. Uh, and because the project went faster than I anticipated, managed to go ahead and get the laser show up. Um, my theory must have been partially correct, because when I clipped it up, like I said, I was going to, and put all of the exact same songs in a playlist. It's about 13 videos now, instead of just one long one, same length. All of them passed copyright. There was one song... That is blocked in only Russia. Everything else has no restrictions, just standard content ID stuff. So I don't know if it was the number of songs or the length of the video. Probably one of those two. It didn't seem to have anything to do with the YouTube Premium. Because I still don't have it. Um, so the playlist is up. All the videos are live. So this was actually probably originally going to go up before I had did that. But I spent some time doing that the last two days, so that video is actually up and ready to go. Um, so if you're watching this after, you already know. And if for some reason you missed the playlist, spoiler alert, it worked. <laughs> All of the fifth, the same songs, perfectly fine. So, good to know for future. Just have to try to keep the videos, I guess, under an hour. Because I've had ones that are like hour, hour and a half, and they were fine. Not that I probably will plan on doing a whole lot of extra laser shows unless I start adding more equipment. Which I'm not planning on doing for a little bit. Just kind of more of the same. Um, so yeah, that is up. This will go up shortly. Um, the lights aren't really much of a thing to where this is going to get super long. So I'll probably go ahead and get the lights up and connected before I upload this. So that's not going to be a video by itself. Just to kind of cap off the ceiling thing. And then I don't really plan on immediately getting more tiles. So I'm not going to worry about waiting for that to happen. I guess next video after this. Once I kind of get Easter put away. And just kind of get used to being on seconds and hanging out with the wife again. Then I'm going to try to get down here and start running some more measurements with the new sub 
just to kind of see where it's at. Um, kind of get back to the, the home theater calibration yeah. side of things. But that's the story so far. I'm um, seeing a minute with the installation of the Christmas lights. Alright, so I think we're gonna go a little something like that. Um, they're gonna be pointing straight down. I'm gonna tack them all. This is just to help kind of get an idea of the layout. Make sure I had to say in the length. Um, I took the bulbs out because, especially after what happened with the fluorescent, I didn't want to repeat it that. Just since I don't have really have a way of replacing these. And I got, it looks like about maybe a one or two bulb extra bit, which is good because the first socket's really close to the plug and it doesn't really give me enough slack on the other end. So what I'm probably going to do is, now that I know that it covers where I want, I'm going to start on this end, which is the not powered end. Probably sticky tape the bottoms of these to the vent here. Uh, wire tape them or stick them everywhere else. I'm going to try to get them all to point straight down. We'll see how well that goes. Or at least, you know, fairly close to down. Um, easier said than done, I'm thinking. But anyway, so go all the way around. And then probably leave the last socket or two empty. Push them over with the power plug so I have a little more length on that end. Um, if it's just one, I'll actually leave that socket empty. Because I do have one bulb on the outdoor set that's burned out. If it's two or more... I'll probably leave the rest of them filled in. That gives me a little bit of light in this corner. Um, so yeah, I think that's the plan. It's just kind of held in place with the little clips at the moment. I'm not gonna start you nailing it and all that tonight. First off, I've just remembered I actually work second shift today. So I need to get my butt to bed. It's already 6.30 in the morning. Gotta be up about one. And then I'll continue this. Um, after today, I have two days off. Uh, the day before my birthday and the day of my birthday. So I can probably get this done in that time. Anyway, that'll be it for now. Um, I will show you a video here in a little bit. When I'm actually uh, mounted up and hopefully working. But for now, it's bedtime. And this is what we got so far. So, like I said, I haven't secured the section under the beam yet, or under the, um, the vent, rather. I'm gonna have to tape it. I don't really have any other way of securing it. I don't even think if I could nail into the vent that they would actually stay there. Um, I figured since I took all the bulbs out for safety anyway, might as well try a different configuration. So it's not, you know, exactly like the ones in the back. I think I'm liking the double white, double red. Uh, we'll see what the wife thinks, but I think this is what we're gonna go with um, I've already stuffed one socket past <coughs> the uh, the lip there, which is how I was able to get it plugged in I have the extra length so might as well um, Based on the slack. It's probably gonna be one more bulb that I do that with um, We'll see I guess but it seems likely most of them hang pretty straight You know, I'll, I'll tack them where I need to like probably need to tape him to this pipe here um, I might tape him to that pipe there that doesn't really seem like I need to and we'll go from there um, this I'm probably gonna go into the molding I think I got enough space I can do it with all right well, maybe I'll go to the inside edge that's probably what I'll do inside of the ed edge of the molding but yeah, that's what we got so far. I'm already having visions of when I try to knock into this molding. I'm just going to knock the molding off of the wood. <laughs> so, I'm mindful of it. We'll see if I can actually prevent it or not. Well, I couldn't get it to work. I didn't knock the molding off. But I couldn't really get it in there. The wood's too hard. Um, so I want my plan B, which is to go into the bottom of the gypsum of the concrete board, 
or whatever. Um, I don't know that I have high hopes for that to actually stay there. Um, that's why I didn't kind of do it originally. But it's only a small section. And there shouldn't be a whole lot of pressure on it, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Almost there. Just two or three more U nails and a couple pieces of tape, which I'm probably not going to do the tape right now, I'll do it later. And she'd be done. And they're more or less all pointing down, more on their own, pretty well. Outside of those three, but again, I haven't nailed those yet. I like where the bulb ends up compared to the rest of them. Uh, I kind of hope it ends on a red versus a white. We'll have to see, I guess. But yeah, I like it. Well, it would have been right, but I lost the two bulbs going over the edge. So it would be four whites. But I think I'm just going to end up doing, if I could do four whites, four reds, or I'll just alternate them. Everything will be two except these two. I'll do a white and a red, and that'll even it out. Okay, I have an extra bulb that I should. Did I miss one? Uh, yeah, look at that, I did. <laughs> so, I guess I will need to fix that. And then that's going to not even me out. So let's see, that would be a white. I think I'll do a white and two reds. I guess. I guess we'll see. Yep, that worked. So, white, white, red, red, white, red, red, white, white, etc., etc. So, a single white there. And I do get my wish. I do get teeny tiny little light back here. So, there's that at least. It's not really much to do much with. But it's enough to, you know, whatever. Um... I'm not sure if I like the red one being that close to the curtain because these are regular light bulbs so you know they're gonna get hot but it's probably okay but there you have it weirdly enough this is one of the projects I'm most happy with still need some tape to kind of shore up a couple of corners especially over there I have no idea what that sound outside is. But yeah, I like it. It works good. Uh, and this is why I went with the dimensions I did for the ceiling. Because I knew it would work with this. Um, so yeah. So granted, it's daytime and the... Uh, can't do much about the window at the moment. But this is the uh, the nighttime slash theater effect. I think it looks nice. Illuminate the theater or the uh, ceiling a little bit. And you got the lounge sign over here, which I like. Star Wars poster. I think it's a cute little lobby. I like how Twister has a red light. I have the Light of Fury's got the light. The Night Fury's got the red light. <laughs> I don't know, it just works. Um, so yeah, that'll end it for this one. So now you'll have this to watch as well as the finalized laser show in all its glory. Um, and that'll be it for a little bit. My birthday is tomorrow, so happy birthday, me. Um, this should be live before that. I should be able to edit this today. It's not a very complicated video. And then, um, so I got tonight off, I got tomorrow off. 
don't have a whole lot planned just gonna relax with the wife because we haven't really spent a lot of time together like I said um, so yeah one more theater project completed I've been wanting to do this one for a while uh, catch you in the next one no idea when or what it's gonna be probably something measurement related at least that's the plan I think I'm pretty much out of construction stuff at this point.